Hello everybody, this is Fred with Tesla Talk. I wanted to update you about the Tesla semi-vehicle with deliveries happening in just a few days. I have some additional information. Tesla has began uh, manufacturing of its semi-electric vehicle. It actually took place in early October near the company's Giga plant in Nevada. The equipment currently installed at the plant would enable production of about five electric uh, trucks per week. That would equate to initially to 260 semi-trucks per year. Although Tesla has much bigger plans for the vehicle once it transfers production to the Giga factory, Texas. Last month, Tesla revealed that it is aiming to ramp up semi-production to 50,000 units per year in 2024. Until then, however, it looks like the company's manufacturing target for 2022 is 100 semi-electric trucks. So looking at the Tesla semi, um, you know, I wanted to look at what the incentive was for a current standard semi owner to um, change over and want to uh, buy a uh, Tesla EV semi. So um, looking at the cost of a standard semi, the cost is about $100,000 average. Newer semi trucks could cost anywhere from $80,000 to $200,000, depending on what upgrades you have with that vehicle. Operating cost for a standard semi, repairs, upkeep, tires, brakes, etc., is about $180,000 per year. Standard semi fuel cost uh, on a yearly average is about seventy thousand. That is uh, a cost of about uh, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars per year. Of course, you would not buy a new vehicle uh, each year, but your initial startup cost would uh, run you three hundred and fifty thousand. Cost of a Tesla semi. Um, the list price is $150,000 with the U.S. Uh, $40,000 uh, tax break. It would cost you $110,000. Operating cost and Tesla fuel cost are $0.07 cents per kilowatt hour. The Tesla Semi is significantly cheaper to operate than a diesel truck, Tesla has said. The company estimates that it will cost $1.26 per mile to operate the Tesla Semi compared to $1.51 per mile for a diesel truck. With the increasing cost of diesel fuel, this could be a savings of anywhere from $100,000 to $200,000 over a standard Semi. According to Elon Musk, the truck will cost 40% less to operate than a regular diesel truck if it's charged at a mega charger. Another consideration when selecting the um, Tesla electric uh, semi is um, its safety features. The uh, semi has electronic uh, system that maintains safe distances between the truck itself and other vehicles on the highway. Uh, the safest uh, driver position, the vehicle uh, has a center of a cab uh, driver uh, location, which offers a maximum visibility. The, because of the battery pack being very low, the, it has at the lowest center of gravity, which minimizes the rollover risk. And it has an active safety control to prevent uh, jackknifing. Currently, the known orders are 150 units to the Pride Group Enterprises, 125 units to UPS, 130 units to Walmart in Canada, and then uh, the vehicles that will be delivered on December 1st, uh, the 100 units for Pepsi. Um, the schedule looks like they will be delivering those 100 units uh, to Pepsi on December 1st. <clears throat> In 2023, it looks they'll attempt to deliver the 405 units to the Pride Group uh, Enterprise, UPS, and Walmart. In 2024, uh, like I was stating earlier, it looks like they're going to try to ramp up to hit uh, 50,000 units to new or additional deliveries to existing customers being in the United States and Canada. In 2025, it looks like they're going to be trying to uh, hit 50,000 units as well. Um, and those will be to the 27 European Union countries and to the UK.
So looking at the catalyst driving this change, uh, I see the cost savings as being a biggie. The truck will cost 40% less to operate than a, a regular standard uh, diesel vehicle. Uh, the safety, the safety features will make it the safest semi to operate. There are the EV mandates, that's what's driving the uh, need for the um, vehicles in uh, the UK and um, the European Union. In um, August of 2022, the California Air Resource Board also implemented a mandate that said that anything sold in California by 2035 would be uh, electric or plug-in hybrid. Uh, the European Union uh, said that everything has to be um, electric with zero emissions by uh, 2035. Uh, those 27 uh, EU countries are Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Croatia, Republic of Cyprus, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, and Sweden. Um, more uh, than half of the vehicles sold in the UK must be fully electric by 2028, and uh, they have to be full electric um, by uh, 2030. That is their goal. Here are my key takeaways from everything that uh, I've researched and read. Basically, it's going to be a forced transition because of economic factors. The price uh, of fuel keeps going up. doesn't look like it's going to come down anytime soon. And the uh, EV mandates. There's an EV mandate will drive the conversion from diesel to electric vehicles in 28 countries and in California. The cost of the vehicle plus the reduced cost of fuel and maintenance result in a cheaper operating cost for companies and a larger profit for independent uh, truck operators. Uh, it's the safest semi ever manufactured. And uh, one point that I think is worth pointing out, at 50,000 units per year, Tesla would become the second largest manufacturer of Class A trucks in the U.S. after Freightliner, which is uh, Daimler Trucks, uh, which produced about 100,000 in 2019 and over 71,000 in 2020 because of the lockdown, supply constraints, et cetera, et cetera. Kenworth is smaller with roughly 42,000 units in 2019 and 30,000 uh, units in 2020. I can easily see where Tesla, um, once it starts building its additional uh, gigafactories where it's going to exceed that 50,000 units per year, it will more than likely um, top um, Freightliner uh, D Daimler trucks uh, as being the largest uh, semi-truck producer. Anyways, uh, that is it for me. I hope you uh, found this information useful. And, uh, you know, if you are a Tesla stock owner, I think we can definitely see an increase in share value. It can only go up with uh, the deployment of this new platform. And if you haven't invested in Tesla, I hope this uh, information has uh, helped make uh, the right decision for you. Uh, please go ahead and do all your all of your own uh, research. Um, you know, don't rely on uh, just a single person's um, video or audio message. Uh, research it, make the uh, final choice, and uh, good luck. I will talk to everybody later. Have a great day. This is Fred from Tesla Talk. We'll chat with you soon. Bye.